Hey guys, we got us a no cooling call on a duplex here. Let's see what's going on. Stay tuned. Hello, cool. So. Let me see, set the cool auto and turn it all the way down. All right, let me see that return real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a man How, do you normally keep it that low or is it just because it wasn't blowing? Well, we, we, turn, we, we gotta turn, because this ain't citrus heat and air, so we gotta turn it down low to get on cool. You know, during the one, during the one time we turn it up to get on heat. That's the, we, that's, the we, that's the only way we can do it. Right here. But when, it, when it's working good, it, it blends cool real good. Mmm, condenser's not running. It does sound like the blower's running. Looks like we got an amp bed right over here. Contactor is pulled in. So y'all can see that. Two forty five. Two forty five. Mm -hmm. I can it can be that. Let me see if this is hot. Ooh, that is hot. All right, let's kill power real quick and check that capacitor. Make sure we don't have any power here. No power, no power.
Alright, it's supposed to be a 40 and 3. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I have a 40 and 3. Swap this over to microfarads. C to Herm. 40. C to 3. 3. I think we need to take a better look at this condenser fan motor. Feel the heat coming out. Ooh, that motor looks black. <laughs> and the bearings are shot. That's our problem. <laughs> I ain't gonna be able to read nothing there. <laughs> that looks like a replacement motor too. Y'all see how it has this bracket down in the bottom? Let me call and see what kind of motor we're supposed to have. I can, these never tell me the RPMs. I can tell right here, outdoor fan, 0.5 amps, 115. Hmm. That's probably gonna be at 825. I'm gonna call the next All trip. right, after a sh short trip. I'm not sure this motor's ever been replaced. Let me go get some gloves. I'm I'm kind of beat up right now, so let me get some gloves.
sorry, what was that? You made a bank? Yeah. Yeah, that, you see how stiff that is? That ain't gonna turn. A new filter? Yes, yeah, sir. You need to change that filter um like every 30 days now. Well, I do that anyway. I'm just saying, I put a digital one. Oh, you talking about the thermostat? The thermostat. With that control out here as well? Um, I wouldn't do that unless you need to. I said keep, 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 keep it steady so I won't have to, I'm trying to keep it regulated so I won't have to, but we've been staying for about 10 years. Um, I wouldn't change that thermostat unless you need to because uh, there's a high chance you could do something wrong and mess something up. But uh, now if uh, if you pay a company like myself to put one on for you, that's a different deal. It would come with a warranty, but um, if you well, do- I know the wiring because I'm a little trained technician. Okay. Yeah, I, know, I know all the wiring. Yeah, I'm a little trained technician. Okay. I'm gonna ask you about me and specials. Okay. I know, I know the real thing. Right here. We used to have a little jingle. <laughs> What's that now? We used to have a little jingle when we was in school. I stood over there in Phoebe. That's terrible. We're in hospital equipment. No, I need to call nobody. <laughs> okay. Now you want no pad changer. Um, if you know how to. Because I know this is an older model. Um, make sure it's okay with your landlord before you do it. But if if you know what you're doing, they probably shouldn't. I think that man old low and shade in the You just the issue in the AC. I never experienced in that bar. Nah. You went to school here in Georgia? I well, I've been to school all over the place, but mostly in Georgia, yeah. Okay. Where you went to? Um I went to Albany Tech for a short while. Well a couple of years. And um I've been to a Amos, Mike Amos. Okay, I'm Amos. Yeah. Under, Mr. Sid? under who? Mr. Sid. Uh uh. And who you be my teacher? Mm -hmm. Sid, Mr. Kevin Williams, and Mr. Chris. Yeah, I watch you. I ain't that ever you? That's me. Okay, yeah, I watch you on the plumbing deck. They had it in the bathroom and I fixed, fixed it to your channel. Well, yeah. Ain't nothing over you. So you ran out here in the old building. Yep. Okay, yeah, I watch you. You in my, you in my um, favorite channel page. I subscribe to you. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> you ain't much, you monetize it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that, uh, long time ago. You don't get no more up here? Should we get some more up? All them Jews you get? Um. Oh yeah, I get some now. You got a lot of, you got a lot of subscribers out there. Mm -hmm. I admit the, the HP guy. <laughs> yeah. You know you have a pain. Yeah, I watch you. I watch you sometimes. When stuff break down enough. You know. I don't, I don't have to pay no bad. I pay my own stuff. Oh, that's see, good. I see Wall and Cricket for me. That I come out here, you know, when the same with that. So when I get my own house, I can go ahead and fit my own house. i tell you what. When you're a homeowner, there's always something to fix. This is the town with all the, all the recession, money going, here and there, I need to have my own money, my own pocket. I take my eBay shop so I can save other people money. I sell electronics online, sell, sell routers and stuff. That's cool. Yes, sir, I got it. Always put that on the flat part. Took that off. Hmm. This is one of those funky motors where how you wire it determines what direction it runs in. So it doesn't have traditional reversing wires on it. It just has five wires coming out of it. So what you actually do when you wire these is you can reverse your start and run winding, which is what you're doing when you're changing the reversing wires on other motors. You reverse two different wires and I'll show you here all right, we want this thing to run clockwise shaft in, so counterclockwise lead in, counter
Ooh. Counter clock. What, what is this? O S E. Shaft outs. So we want clockwise shaft in. So we want clockwise shaft in. sure if I'm gonna be able to get this little grommet on there or not. I've got an extra wire. I might be able to get it. that out just a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna get this done and I'll cut to that. Alright. I got it in there. I think it took me longer to do that than it did 
all right we want this thing to turn clockwise shaft end here's all our wires wars as some people say let's take this out this new mo motor requires a 40 and 5 so let's go get a 40 and 5 and get this thing hooked up 40 and 5 This is an old R22 system, so I hope I'm not doing all this just to find out it's going to be really low on the refrigerant. All right. All right. Clockwise, I don't know what the O is for, but shaft end, black. To line voltage. That's going to be right here. Here it is. Come on. All right, where'd it go? This wire goes up here. Let me see if we're going to do a three wire hookup. Brown goes to one side of the capacitor. Hey, sir. Excuse me, guys. Hmm. Yellow goes. Mm -hmm. Brown, and then let me see. We've got orange. goes up here I'm trying to make this where y'all can see it I realize that's in the shadow all right so I got line bolts one side going to the capacitor other side brown and it looks like I need to put purple and yellow together Put that in here. Get a couple of zip ties here.
I get the feeling I'm gonna be back out here when this guy tries to do his thermostat. I could be wrong. That's just a... Let's hope I didn't fry the motor. Are still hot. All right, so orange and brown. I was doing it this way purple and yellow. Purple and Orange and brown go together. I'm going to need just a plain five microfarad capacitor. So five here. So let me make sure I've got this wired right. Orange and brown go to one side of my voltage, which is right here on my capacitor. I don't think I may have time space to put that on my contactor. That right there was supposed to be on my firm. That's probably why my compressor wasn't running. All right, so orange and brown go to one side and the black goes through the board or this relay and ties in right here. Do I have any 516s?
something to hold that uh, capacitor in there. There we go. All right. So orange and brown, yellow and purple go to the capacitor and black lines to I mean, I literally... I literally turned this around. Black line voltage. Orange and purple. All right, so. Orange and purple. And then brown and yellow go together. All right, we're gonna try this again. This is just a little bit confusing. Let's um, let's try this again. Finally, it's blowing out the top. Maybe if I'd learn how to read the directions. What's my amp rating on this? Full load amps, 1.3 amps. And I've got 1.02. Doing good. I didn't need that other five capacitor. Check pressures on it real quick.
an old system like this, this ain't that bad. R22, in these temperatures, 67 degrees outside, I'm gonna leave it just like that. Well guys, um, I got that one done. I was kind of surprised I didn't have a major refrigerant problem on that one, but it worked out fine. Um, those motors can be a little bit tricky, just follow the instructions. Each time I had them wired up correctly for the wrong direction. So once I figured it out, we got it right. Thanks for watching guys. Like and subscribe if you hadn't already. And I'll catch you on the next one.